What's going on guys, Clutch here once again, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about new mods for Farming Sim 19 once again. Uh, we've got a couple of new mods that are in the Mod Hub, and we've got a couple of mods I want to talk about that, well, they're on the Mod Hub, they're only available for PC, but we'll uh, we'll talk about that as well. So uh, let's get into this guys, you can see here we got the class family all suited up, and that's kind of what I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, you know how it is. Let's go dive into this guys, bitter patter. Clutch Simulations all right so let's first start by talking about the grain bin we got here on the left now this is available to everybody it's a mod for uh, in the mod hub for uh, for pc mac console everybody's got this xbox playstation you all got this now this is the h was it the hkd302 sound familiar well this is the in-game hdk302 yeah um there's some slight differences uh, right now you can't really see much of them. If I back up a little bit, you'll see a little bit of a difference. Yeah, so it's got, um, three exits instead of one. Um, it does the same options. It tips rear, tips side, it tips back. It's got a rear hitch. Um, not a lot to talk about as far as differences. Now, that being said, there are a few other differences in store. Now, the, um, the in-game stock 302... It comes with, well, this color. That's what you're going to get. Now, let's go take a quick look at the modded 302. So, with the modded 3 uh, HD, HKD 302, we do get some options for colors, which is, I guess, something. Um, so, not a, a ton of options, but, I mean, you can change uh, to a wooden panel side, I guess, if you like, and maybe an aluminum side rails. So, that does give you a few other options. Um, other than that, there's time changes for wheels, your Michelin's, Lizard, or uh, Trelleborg. And you can change your design. That's really all there is to it. There's not a lot of differences here, guys. The same as far as specs go. Everything is exactly the same. I got nothing more I can tell you about that, unfortunately. Not a lot of options as far as that goes. Um, it is interesting to be able to go to like a stainless steel look as well. But uh, yeah, that is what it is. Anyways... Um, that's it for that. That's the only mod that's available for everybody this week. Unfortunately, it's, um, yeah, they're almost the same. <laughs> uh, let's move along down the line here. Uh, actually, it's a little bit different there, too. Anyways, let's move along down to the class tractor. Now, we almost have a class family of tractors. We're almost there. One more, I think. But we'll talk about that as well as we go through this. Um, so these tractors are not all available for everybody in the Mod Hub. In fact, the Class 900 series right in the middle here is the only one that's in Mod Hub for PC. The other two, you're going to have to go externally for, unfortunately. Uh, but we're getting there. We're, we are getting there. So let's, uh, let's start off at the very top of the line here. We're going to start off. Now this, like I said, is the, uh, what is this? The, <laughs> can never pronounce this properly. The Zerion 4000 series. 4,000 to 5,000, actually. I think there's three different engines in this one that we have options for. So it goes 4,000, 4,500, and 5. Um, this is an interesting tractor. Now, this one we've had available, I think it's been mods from uh, 15, 17, and 19 now. This is the European version. As you can see, there's a Euro tag up at the top there. And I believe, if I go around back, yeah, there's one in the back as well. Uh, we get inside. It does have an interesting option as far as your steering is going. Let's see if I can remember how to do this now. Let's see. So right now, you can see we have four-wheel steer. Uh, I believe now I've got just two wheel steer. You can see just my front tires are turning. Uh, if I do it once more, I have left cab steer, right cab steer. You can see that. And then if I go once more, I'm back to all four wheel drive steer. Very interesting. I like being have those options. I don't know if I ever use the uh, left or right wheel steer for anything. But you never know, you might find something that I find useful for. I don't know in farming soon what, what I do for it, or use it for yet, but uh, you never know. Uh, inside the cab, a little bit on the bland side. I'm not sure if that's accurate. Is there not a display cluster up on front of the steering wheel on this tractor or not? But it seems like it's missing something there. Um, I'm not sure if there's gauges just up on top or if it's just all off the screen there, but it does seem like it's missing something in my mind. Could be wrong. I have no idea. I've never driven one of these in real life, so I can't say. Uh, let's go for your lights here. Boom, boom. And then it looks like it should. All right, let's go take a look at this in the store. Now, of course, this is going to be under your large tractors. Uh, starting horsepower is 419 horsepower. But uh, yeah, so that's our base. Now, uh, let's talk about horsepower while we're talking about it already. Let's go to engine setup. So uh, the 4,000, like I said, 419, 
$346,000 to start. You go up to the 4,500, you're adding 10 grand, but you're getting another few horsepower up to 479. And then finally, with the 5,000 series, you're up to 50, 520 horsepower, almost $360,000. All right, so our design options uh, are a little bit interesting. So we do have options to add weight, uh, weights to the back plates. So you can see there, it's similar to the John Deere's where we can add weights to the front. We can add weight plates to the back all the way up to 2,150 kilograms there. It's an extra couple couple bucks to add to your price tag. Just keep in mind that. It's not a lot, but just be mindful of that, I suppose. Now, the one thing I do like, let's see, colors. We might as well look at colors before I talk about that. Where is that? Main color, there we go. Uh, main color, it does have a few options. It's not the full gamut. However, you do have a few options to change your colors of this. And I find with class, they don't usually let you do it. So that's one thing I do like about that. Um, ooh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so there's a couple options there and then same with your rims there's a few options not a ton but it does give you a few options and allows you to change some of the colors of your rims if you don't like the standard green and red that you get with class typically all right so let's talk about this other big option here that i'm really quite excited about let's see if i could bring it up come on there we go um so it does have the standard tires that you're you're used to the trelleborg and of course come on the michelin there we go and both of those do have the options to have wheel weights, uh, wides, wides of wheel weights, and twins. Okay, so they do have all the same options that you're kind of used to. However, there we go. We also have Michelin's. Oh, sorry, Goodyear's. Wow, we also have Goodyear's. Now look at the rims we get with the Goodyear's. There's your Michelin's. There's your Goodyear's. As well, look at the tread pattern. They just look so much faster. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, I love the look of them. They look great. They almost look like low profile as well. And we'll move over to that wheel setup. You have options for standard or wides. That is it for the Goodyear's. However, I do love the look of the rims. They look great. So there you go, Michelin's. Back to your Goodyear's. So your Trelleborg and the Michelin's are the same, but your Goodyear's do have this different rim, and I find they look just look fantastic to me. Love the rim and I love the look of the tires. I just like to have that as an option. So I just wanted to point that out, guys. Pretty excited about that. I know it's something little, but I think it's cool. All right, let's move along. All right, up next, we're looking at the Class 900 series, the Class Axion 900 series. This particular mod is now available in the Mod Hub. For PC only, of course. Um, unfortunately, like I said, the Class Series tractors are all only PC only right now. Not available for everybody in Mod Hub, just PC is totally unfortunate but um who knows with the new agreement between giants and class we may start seeing more of these in the mod hub um possibly dlc but we'll see we'll go with we'll go there when it comes around anyways i did want to talk about this quick one this 900 series for uh for pc in the mod hub let's take a quick look around it as you can see it looks pretty good And we'll jump inside the cab here. One thing I do like about the cab, you can see the steering wheel is vertical right now. It's in like the up position. And as soon as you jump in, you're in first person. The oh, I missed it. Let's see if I can jump back out of here. Should go back up. And when you jump back in, the wheel comes down. I do love when that happens in tractors. I don't know. It's little things like that. I'm easily amused. Uh, we fire it up. Our screens all fire up. Uh, and our controls do work as well inside. You can see our dash works and our foot pedal, our gear shift up there does do things. Does what it's supposed to be doing, I should say. Uh, lights all work as you would expect. We put this back away here, and let's go take a look at this one in the store. Now, there's a few different options. Um, this obviously comes in, well, it's a 920 series. We have 930, 940, and 950 series trackers. Uh, it's just different engine sizes, essentially, right? Let's go take a quick look. So once again, you're going to find this under large tractors, right along with the, uh, the 4000 series. Now, the Axion, let's take a look for colors first of all. There's not a ton of options for colors, unfortunately. Uh, you got your black and white. Oops, sorry, that's back into the tires here. Whoa. Uh, or we go white. So not as many options as the 5000 series, but uh, you can change, obviously, the, uh, the wheels to something as well. And then, let's see if I can uh, select this one here. Oops. There we go. So it does have an option to change the nose coat cowling as well um it looks different that's for sure and some of these colors <laughs> can't say i'm a huge fan of all of them but it's like the grill can change colors if you like 
Wow, that's an interesting sheen to it. I didn't even notice the green. If I go to a block, how does that look? Eef. Wow. Anyways, so you can change the nose cowling color. Uh, one other thing. Does it have that one? There we go. The design option changes as well. So you can change the stack on this one to a chrome if you'd like. Does it show it? It's not even going to show that. Is that chrome? That barely looks like chrome to me. I guess it is kind of a chrome. Anyways, yeah, there it is. You can kind of tell. Anyways, so that does do that as an option. Um, where's our, our engine sizes? So our base price, like I said, we're 320 horsepower, base price of 270,000-ish. Uh, we move up roughly 8,500 bucks. And uh, how many horsepower is that? 30 horsepower. We can get all the way up with a 950 series up to 410 horsepower, but you're looking at another 20 grand. Just be aware of that. Get rid of that there. But no other visual changes. I mean, obviously the tag does change on the side, but you can push up to a little over 400 horsepower with this tractor now, which is fantastic. Should be almost enough for almost anything, I would think. Uh, wheel options. Let's talk about the wheel options quickly as well. You have the standard Trelleborg. I believe you have Michelin. Yeah, Michelin's as well. So those are your two options. And then as well, you have wheel weights, wide tires, of course. Wheel weights, wides. You got twins. And that should be it. Oh, you got twins for only rear. There we go. There you go. So those are your options. Um, this recently updated today, and I believe the update it didn't have. There was one of the one of the changes where it did not have uh, just rear twins as an option. So that was this is a new option for me as well to have just the rear twins. Anyways, and for our last tractor, which I am actually a little bit excited about, this Atlee 900 series. Um, it looks a little bit different. I know. I believe that this tractor is technically out of service. I don't believe they're out of service. I don't believe they're it's in production anymore. I think it's been replaced by the Atos. Anyways, one thing that, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second, but I do want to look at this quick, this tractor. I do like the look of this one, and it's a mid-range tractor. Finally, we have a mid-range tractor in class. Um, this tractor is, of course, not available in the mod. You'll need to download that from an external site. However, I will leave the links for both this one here and the uh, Zerian 9000, or 4000, I should say, uh, down in the description below. But... Uh, this tractor does have a few little interesting options to it. Let me just pull this out quickly here. Our inside cab uh, looks as you'd expect, except for we got some field markers down below. <laughs> That's interesting. But uh, dashboard does work. Uh, you've got gear shifters and your brake pedals and gasp all work as well, if that's something that matters. The little screen on the, the A-pillar here does not work, which I'm kind of surprised by. Um, Let's see, what else do we have in the cab that we can talk about? It looks like that's about it. But one of the interesting options I do find with this particular mod, and I love when they do this, you can open the door all the way open. You can open the back window, which I actually did by accident there. And you can also open the side window, which is always kind of cool. <laughs> uh, lights all do work. Which is kind of key, considering the lights up in the front here. Those are such prominent looking lights. You want those to work, of course. And one of the other interesting options. Let's see if I can do this here. So, on most tractors, when you uh, go into first person view, you go to first person. So this is third right now. First person view, obviously, I'm above my steering wheel. I click it one more time, and it automatically just goes to a rear view. So I can look at my implements off the back. So there's three camera views that are set by default. Interesting. I don't think I've seen another tractor that does quite that. Even the, uh, which one of the Valtras with the uh, spin around seats don't seem to do that anyways. I thought that was interesting. Uh, let me just park this and we'll take a look at this one here in the store. So like I said, you're going to find this in the mid-range or medium-sized tractors. Uh, this is the 936. So this is the smallest of the the, uh, the batch. So there's the 936 and the 946. You're starting at 226 horsepower, 142000 $143,000 to start with. Um, we can go over to our engine here and bump it up to the one, the 946. You're getting 250 horsepower now, $144,000. Uh, yeah, no, not many other options here. No color change options on this particular tractor. So you're stuck with the green and red. I don't mind it personally, but if it's a problem for you, then well, unfortunately you're stuck with it. Uh, last option, we have our wheel setups. Once again, not a ton of options, but it does have the, the standard gamut. Actually, you know what? I, I did, I might've spoke too soon there. It does have quite a few options as far as actual styles of wheels but you're just stuck with a Trelleborg so we do have our standard of course we've got our weights wide tires with weights we've got twin rears we've got twin fronts as well and then we can move on to our narrows narrows rears and double narrows front as well 
Now, to be honest, I don't think I've seen a class yet that has narrows. And that is awesome. <laughs> I love that. I love having narrows for this tractor. It's great. So we finally have a, a, a class with narrows. The only thing we are currently missing that I can tell from class is something with a front loader. So if someone can make a front loader tractor uh, or a front loader on a class, maybe the, uh, I think it's the Atos that has a front loader. That would be fantastic. So um, yeah, now we have something we can use fertilizer spreaders with. <laughs> maybe some weeding. Cool. Anyway, so this here is the class uh, Atlee's. Not a bad little tractor, and it kind of finishes off the class family, which it, well, not finishes off, it adds to the class family. We're still, like I said, missing one component right here. Something like a 150 horsepower range with a front loader. That would be cool. Um, yeah, so once again, guys, the uh, Tipper and the 900 series class are available in the Mod Hub. Uh, the Tipper is available for all. The the class is only PC. Uh, both the Zerion and the Atlees are only available by external link right now. So I'll make sure I link to those. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you leave a big old thumbs up to make that YouTube bot happy. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well, guys. Other than that, we will see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Thank you.